Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Ray and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Family, in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I update my old banister. Right now my banister is a ugly oak color. I hate oak. Um, when we first moved in the house, I had um, updated the cabinets in my kitchen, which a lot of you have probably seen are now a, a Java color. That is what I'm going to be doing to my oak banister. It's going to be a, um, the top part is going to be um, Java and the bottom part is going to be white. So if you are interested in seeing how I update my banister, please keep watching. Okay, family, let me show you all the um, products I'm going to need for my project. First, I have this TSP solution. This is going to actually help me to clean off any dirt and grime on the wood. I have a drop cloth to protect my um, my carpet and the um, any wood that I do not want to get paint on. I have this angled sandy sp sanding sponge, and this is going to actually let me show you sand down. See this shiny part here is going to help to sand this down so that the paint and the stain can adhere to the wood a lot better. And this is actually the um, General Finishes um, Gel Stain in Java that I'm going to use to put on the top part right here. That part is going to be Java. It's a dark color. And then I have this, this Kilts Premium Sealer. Not sealer, but um, primer. I need the primer for my spindles right here. I need to prime those before I use this bare semi-gloss paint in white because the spindles are going to be white and the railing part is going to be Java. And then of course you're going to need the general finishes or any uh, manufacturer's um, top coat. This actually helps to protect the um, your project from any wear and tear and it also gives it a nice um, high gloss shine so I have my sponge brushes I'm using these because I'm working with a small area in addition to that these foam brushes are going to help give it a smooth look I have this brush right here and this brush is going to be used to get into these little nooks and crannies and then I have this um, roller um, painting brush that's going to be used in these areas. And then, of course, I have my painter's tape. I need that to help tape off the areas that I do not want to get any paint on. So that's it. Now let's get to work. <laughs> So guys, what you see me doing right here is using a rag and the um, TSP solution to clean off the railing and the um, spindles of the banister. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to move on to the next process. Butterflies in my stomach, butterflies in my chest, heartbeat like a bird that's humming. Trust your words cause you know me best. Let's take a walk down a brick road, click your heels and you'll be there. I want you, do you want me to? Once you hear the rhythm playing, promise you won't be complaining. I'll be here for it. So now here you see me taping up the um, spindles of the banister. I'm just doing the top part first because I'm going to concentrate on the actual railing of the banister first before I do the spindles. As you can see, I am slightly sanding the um, banister just to get off any of the um, shiny top coat so that my um, 
stain can adhere to it and then you'll also see once I'm done doing this that I'm going to wipe it off with a wet rag let it dry and then I will move on to the next step it's for you once my body gets to sway and promise you won't be complaining and I'll be saying yeah yeah can I dance for you now here comes the fun part I've um, here I am putting on my first coat of the actual stain and this I'm just putting this color on the actual railing of the banister cool. oh, every heart in the world is looking for a partner many fish in the sea but there's one I'm chasing after I'm not afraid to tell the world I choose, baby, it's you. Oh, can I dance for you? Hey, would that be cool? Can I dance for you? Okay guys, this is day two, and this is what the um, railing looks like. Again, as you can see, some of the oak is coming through, but I'm going to get ready to go ahead and put my second coat on. And what I'll probably do is start also painting down here with the um, white paint, so. Is what it looks like with the second coat it's actually looking really really good now I was going to do this part down here the white part but I'm going to wait I'm going to give this a few hours not a few hours actually I'm gonna probably wait until this evening and go ahead and give this one more coat and then I will start on the railings and this bottom part tomorrow this all of this part will be white so all right family this is what it's looking like with a third coat i did not take the third coat um i just went ahead and got it done because it's getting late but this is what it looks like and it should be good in the morning for me to go ahead and move on to the spindles so in the morning i am going to take the tape off of there then I'm going to have to tape up where I um, put the stain on so I don't get any wet paint, I mean white paint on the railing part. Then I'm going to prime these and this and that. And then I am going to paint them white. Okay, family, it's the next day. Um, this is fully dry. So the only thing I need to do to, to the railing part is put the um, top coat on. I've already off camera taped up the spindles so that I don't get any primer or white paint on the top part. And I've also put my two coats of primer on the spindles. And actually it's, what you see is actually what it's gonna look like once I put the paint on it. And then I need to paint this part right here and this down here white as well. But it is coming out really, really good. I am very happy with it. Here I am applying my first coat of um, 
the um, white paint and then I will apply another coat after this. Okay guys, this is what it looks like with the first coat of paint. It's looking pretty good. I have a little bit of touch-ups I need to fix up, but it is, I'm liking the way it's turning out. So I am going to put my last coat of paint on. I'll probably prime these two areas. And that is going to be it because it's getting late. So, okay, guys, here's where I am now. Excuse all my mess, but um, the top railing is complete. I'll go on ahead and take in the um, tape off. But as you can see, I need to do a little bit of touch up work in certain areas. The railings have their third coat on and that's going to be the last coat that they get. And then this bottom part, I have gone ahead and put my primer on. All I need to do now is go ahead and paint that part right there. And then once it dries, hopefully I won't need a second coat. But if I do, I'll put a second coat on it. Then once that dries, I will put the top coat on everything and I will be done. Okay, guys. Um... I have finished putting the um, paint on and the stain. The last step that I need to do is go ahead and put the, um, let me show you guys real quick, the General Finishes um, water-based top coat on. Can you see that? I'm not good with putting this in the camera, but yep. I have to put this on um, and wait about 12 hours to let it dry. It's just like putting um, a top coat on your nails but it's going to make the area shiny and um, more durable to uh, wear and tear. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and that's going to be it for this project. And I'll show you guys the finished look. guys this project is complete I am not an expert at painting or anything but I think I did an awesome job I do have a little bit of touch-ups I need to do on the wall but other than that I think it came out beautiful now I still need to do the banister in the kitchen there's a little area in the kitchen and the banister going up our stairs to the bedrooms but those are projects for a later date I have some other projects that I need to get out of the way but if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And again, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. Now, I hope I was um, able to inspire you guys to either do some painting or do some type of project in your home today. But other than that, I am going to end this video. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.